Every year, more than 1,200 Australian women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer. For most, it's discovered too late to treat successfully. But Adelaide researchers are hoping to turn that around. Six years ago, 47-year-old Catherine Krolig was diagnosed with both ovarian and endometrial cancer. My first thoughts were for my children and whether I'd get to see them grow up. The mother of two considers herself lucky to be alive and hopes her daughter won't experience the same trauma. She asked me if she would get cancer because I've had cancer and I've said no, but I want to make sure I can, I can mean that. Adelaide University researcher Dr Carmela Ricciardelli is working towards keeping that promise. In a groundbreaking study, she's identified a number of proteins that change when cancer cells interact with cells in the lining of the abdomen. Well, now we're planning to do uh, additional experiments and, and looking at inhibitors of these proteins, yes, to block the ovarian cancer growth and the ovarian cancer spread. The mortality rate for ovarian cancer hasn't improved over the past decade, with more than 800 Australian women dying from the disease every year. It's hoped this research will lead to targeted treatments and ways to identify ovarian cancer <laughs> earlier. But it wouldn't be possible without funding from the Cancer Council and fundraisers like Girls Night In. I think it's a great opportunity for women to contribute to this kind of cancer research, um, which will help um, those uh, 1,200 and women who are diagnosed every year. If you'd like more information, visit the website. Elise Baker, Nine News.